Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market uh, view. U.S. markets uh, ended close, but they managed to recover from the low of about 160 odd points. As far as Dow Jones is concerned, even Nasdaq was down about almost 0.75% uh, and managed to close almost flat uh, on the back of good set of numbers from the technology back up. Uh, European markets too were up anywhere from about 0.75% um, to almost about 1.8%. Uh, the ECB meet on 22nd of uh, Jan is the most important event that the global markets are watching out for, including the emerging markets as the quantum of quantitative easing and its tax uh, could actually uh, decide the flows uh, of money into various asset classes. Uh, also, uh, when we look at the Asian markets today morning, only Nikkei is down about 0.3%. Rest of the markets are up anywhere from 1 to 1.25%, like Kospi, uh, Nikkei, Shanghai. All these markets are showing positive uh, momentum. And as this Nifty, after a record close that we saw around 8700 level, is poised for another 25 points kind of a pop up on the back of strong FI data. So the FI is the net bias in the cash market to the tune of about 1,276 crore. However, the domestic institutional sellers to the tune of about 660 odd crore. So the overall momentum in the market is extremely positive, but it's confined to few pockets like uh, banks and the blue chip names like HDFC Limited, HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, um, and few other FMCG names uh, where we are seeing a great amount of action. A broader market and the smaller stocks are not showing that kind of a momentum or resilience, resilience that we've seen in these pockets. Uh, so on that note, let me invite Sadhana to take us through important reviews and ideas that we can have from the FNO desk. Good morning friends, let's have a view on derivatives. The Indian benchmark indices showed a fabulous performance in yesterday's trade by rallying over close to 2%. After breaching a monthly straddle breaking point of 8532, as we suggested target for Nifty of 8700, which we have achieved in yesterday's trading session, also Nifty hit a lifetime high at around 8731. And finally settled the session at 8717 levels with a gain of 1.67%. In this period, we have seen that huge amount of open interest is built up by Nifty futures market participants. Open interest is increased by 10.21% from 2 crore 13 lakhs to 2 crore 34 lakhs. Approximately 21.77 lakhs shares were added in open interest. Also, Nifty futures price increased significantly by 145 rupees, which is clearly indicating that long positions were built up in yesterday's trading session. Cost of value also increased by 8.67% from 8.32% to 9.05%. But we have seen marginal dip in Nifty futures premium. It is decreased from 23 points to 21 odd levels. Uh, PCR is increased by 3.94% from 1.27 to 1.32, which is clearly indicating that put option has seen good, good build up than call option. Yesterday's trade, we have seen that put option has added around 40 lectures in open interest, whereas call option has added around 4, 8 lectures in open interest. India Mix was down by 2.15% and finally settled at 17.27%. In the options activity, we have seen that 8,600 call option has reduced its shares in open interest and that activity is shifted to 8,700, 8,800, also 8,900 and 9,000 call option has added good number of shares in open interest. In yesterday's trade, 8,700 has added 6% shares in open interest and 8,800 also has added 17.38% shares in open interest. And we have seen that on the put option side, uh, since Nifty has risen by 3%. We have seen that people are getting added positions in 8400 put option and 8500 put option. But in yesterday's trade, 8600, 8700 has added significant number of shares in open interest as 8600 has added 111, uh, 111 shares in open interest and 8700 has added 245% in, shares in open interest. Just clearly indicating that it is a positive sign for the market going forward. On bank period, bank period uh, front, uh, there is one security in bank period which is HDIL and uh, we have seen, on FIS front, we have seen good huge amount of open interest is added in uh, uh, index futures by FIS as yesterday FIS were net buys of 1,749 crores index futures 
They were net buys of 1001 crore in index options, they were net buys of 295 crore in stock features, and they were net sellers of, net sellers of 73.92 crore in stock options. A 5 day CVX stands at 8575, lower range for the market would be 8575, and higher range would be 8800. Singapore Nifty is currently up by 31 points, which is at 8470. We may see a positive to gap of opening in Nifty futures today. That's it from the FTX. Thank you. Friends, uh, let me take you through Shekhan pre market action report starting with trading ideas. First of all, a long call on PCS as the company has uh, said that it has signed a multi year contract with Virgin Atlantic Airways covering private cloud infrastructure as a service and IT support services. The quantum of the order is not known, but that's I think a big positive for TCS. So, what can go long there with the stock of 2475 and a target of about 2530 to about 2560. Crompton Reeves has bagged an order of about 26 million US dollars from Indonesia for supplying power equipment. So one can go long on Crompton with the stock of 189, target of 198 to about 203. Sun Pharma, uh, the development is taking place wherein the US Supreme Court has ruled that Teva uh, can still benefit from the patent protection for top selling multiple uh, sclerosis drug uh, Copazone is a positive for Sun Pharma, uh, so one can go long on that. At the same time, uh, it is negative for some of the generic uh, manufacturers like Natco Pharma and Dr. Reddy. So one can short Natco Pharma with sort of 1550 and a target of about uh, 1480 to about 1460. Rally India came out with a disappointing set of numbers. Uh, the net profit uh, uh, de grew by almost about 16%. The top line also there was a negative growth. So one can short rally in the stock of 234 and a target of about 224 to about 218. Uh, in other news and developments, uh, the center will kickstart the process of offering deallocated coal blocks uh, to state-owned entities on Wednesday. And uh, according to uh, some of the tour operators are saying that uh, the uh, overall tourist data and the air uh, passenger traffic has been showing a decent growth uh, on the back of low air fares and uh, long weekends. So that's a positive read through for companies like uh, Thomas Cook and Cox and Kings. As per media reports, the government has clar clarified that it has uh, still not taken any decision on removing the price control on the urea and stepping import duty on imported urea. So market uh, was buzzing with this development but it doesn't seem to have come through. So it could be a bit of a negative read through for companies like RCF, uh, NFL Spic, and Tata Chemicals. Suprajit Engineering's mid cap auto ancillary company uh, has proposed to set up a cable manufacturing plant uh, in uh, Charal, Gujarat. Uh, GOL Offshore uh, has uh, got some notice by some of its lenders for the default in the loan payment. And Cabinet Committee on Economy Affairs will discuss uh, the possible sale of about 10% in IOC and Kotak Mahindra shareholders have approved the raising of FI limit to 42%. Uh, here are the companies which will be announcing numbers today. Raymond 61.2 crore, Century Ply 27.5 crore, TTK Prestige uh, 21.1 crore, Z Limited 243 and Tata LXC about 25.4 crore. A uh, list of stocks with positive and negative bias. Stocks with positive bias are IGL, Sun TV, and Tata Steel. Stocks with negative bias are DV's Lab, Titan, Hero Motors. Here are the stocks for investment that we like at this point of time LNT, Yes Bank, Talamot Media, Infosys, and Max India. That's it from all of us, friends. Have a great trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.